the Messiah comes, Rome will be nothing. Until then. Risen's told not from necessarily a, a gospel-centric. This takes a different view. This is through the eyes of a non-believing Roman military leader. The Nazarene city would rise again after three days. We will lose peace and order if it's true. Will the people believe it? The weak will. There will be no other gods. Kill him. Where most films about the life of Christ end at the crucifixion, Risen really begins at the crucifixion. And the military leaders and the religious leaders of the day woke up that morning and the body of Jesus was missing. It was a mystery to them and it unleashed a manhunt because they were fearful of what a resurrection would mean, that it would mean that this was a Messiah, that it would cause unrest in Rome and unrest in Jerusalem and unrest throughout Judea. And so we really kind of reveled in and lived in the thrill of the journey of these characters looking for this body of Jesus, looking to prove that this resurrection was a fake. And I thought, you know, it would be really incredible to tell the resurrection story because to me, that's the most exciting part of it because if you could show a person like Clavius going through something like that and, and really see what it was like to be in that time and hear about the resurrection and hear about you know, a person actually rising from death and I just thought that would be the, one of the coolest stories to ever tell. For me, nothing really clicked until Joseph came into the picture. I mean, the story was great and the creative team was fantastic. Everything worked, but there was a missing element. Joe finds his Clavius is, I think it's that perfect combination of an empathetic character that the second he walks across the desert and you look into his eyes, you're hooked. And you go, that, I care about that character. I want to know where he goes. I want to know the decisions he makes. I want to find out about this guy. I want to get inside his head. So it was important for us as we were going through the process on Risen, starting from the script stage through production, was to involve pastors and leaders and people that I've known and worked with and trusted for 25 years to really make sure that, well, while I would never say Risen is a biblically based story, I would say it's scripturally harmonious. That the elements of the story where it touches scripture are true to scripture. The very first time that we've seen a fictional story like Clavius, you know, woven into a biblical story like the uh, in the New Testament, the resurrection, and it worked so successfully. And for me, I would think that there's so many people out there that are a Clavius that kind of sit there and kind of wonder. And um, I sure at times was a Clavius when I'd sit on that rock with mm -hmm. Jesus and have that conversation. I've been there. You know, we're looking for people to be impacted in a positive way. And I think people come out the other end after watching it changed. You know, as the scripture shows what Jesus did and said, what what did the people around him think and, and what were the what were the ramifications of, of what we saw after you know after the fact i think with risen we get to explore that have fun with it in a way that is i think edifying and encouraging and uplifting